Shalom, who praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakar Kadash. Double wonders unto the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. And Shalom to the whole full elect. This is another prophecy and news. Okay, in this present, we're in the last days right now. And it's been evident, shown, if you're, you know, doing as Yahweh Shai instructed us, being servants of him, we're watching as well as praying. Okay, so we've got to be sending up our prayers for defence against that great and terrible day, the day of Jacob's trouble, a day like none other, where no no form of evil, the word evil is two words, meaning eve and ill, eve meaning time, and ill meaning bad, so a time of a bad time basically, and that time is going to be bad for, for Jacob, alright, Jacob being the so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans, okay, because the ruler of the society Esau, which is our wicked twin brother. Basically, what he wants to do, he wants to ex he he wants to carry out what he didn't get to carry out during the time of um, Genesis, the twenty seventh chapter, which is exterminating us from off the face of the earth because he lost out on a blessing to us, man. It tells you in Hebrews that he sought carefully with tears, and he also says in the book of Genesis that the the time of mourning for my father is at hand, but then after I shall kill my brother Jacob. Okay. Which is his spirit. So we're in those days. So these prophecies, the main prof key prophecies, the two, key two prophecies I'm going to point out that are key unto our salvation of when Yahweh Shai shall appear to make us ri to, and that we should be prepared for his appearing is um, the RFID chip, which is known as the Mark of, Be Mark of the Beast, spoke of in Revelation 13th chapter, and also is World War Three. Which is spoke of in many scriptures, talking about the second death, okay, um, the lake of fire, which is um, what the prophets saw, how America looked after, you know, the, the 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 time when the missiles landed, okay, and this is this is the time that we're in, we're in that time, the time of the end, okay. So now this is from the, the this is an article from the week, okay, and the title reads Vladimir Putin warns against World War Three. Russian leader blames USA for disrupting global power balance. And that was done by design because um, Donald Trump being in office through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai Bashem Rakar Kadash, what basically happened is he, the Lord appointed the right man, Lord willing, for the top. You know, I believe that this is the right, um, we got the right, you um, um, could say, character in office to basically carry out World War Three. And that's why Putin is coming with this from out of his mouth. So Russian leader blames US for disrupting global power balance. And Trump is basically throwing a lot of, um, a lot of, um, there's a word I'm looking for, man. Uh, because I can't remember it. But he's, he's, he's throwing out a lot of different sayings out there, I'd say. Um, that basically is, is bringing about uncertainty between different nations and bringing about global tensions. Like North Korea, for example, saying he's ready to destroy North Korea off the face of the earth, okay? Which which is basically, you know, even um, he said that Russia should be pulled, pulled back into the G8. They returned to the G7. He said that Russia should be pulled back into the G8. Then I believe you had the French prime minister or one of the prime, or one of the leaders, maybe Canadian, I believe the Canadian agreed with him or something like that. But I believe it was a French prime minister said it may become the G6 because they want to kick America out, and that's part of World War Three. Okay, basically the tensions mounting up between um, Esau, you know, say how can Satan stand if his kingdom be divided against, if Satan be divided against Satan? So basically that's bringing about the the prophecy he spoke of in the Book of Daniel's the second chapter. About the statue with the feet, the toes being um, part being, you know, mingled with iron and clay, because some were, some were weak and some were strong, so that's bringing about that tension, and also prophecy spoke in the Book of Revelations where those that were, you know, basically in Obadiah and Revelations talking about those that were at peace with the, basically, you know, they want they're gonna fire their missiles upon America as well alongside Russia. Alright, so reading this article, it says Vladimir Putin has called for a return to strategic purity um, 
between the US and Soviet Union that kept the Cold War from turning hot. All right. So he wants them to make an alliance. In a mammoth four and a half hour TV call in show, during which he touched on a range of subjects from rising petrol prices to the upcoming World Cup and his, his successor, the Russian president accused the US of um, upending um, the global nuclear power balance. Why did Putin issue the warning? Responding to a worried viewer, Putin exoriated the US's decision to withdraw from the Soviet era um, anti-ballistic missile treaty in 2002. The fear of mutually assured destruction has always restrained and forced military powers to respect each other. So what, what kept them at peace was the level of um, basically the respect of power they both had. They respectively looked at, they did so, 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 you know, respectably, you know, looked at each other uh, for their power that they had and said, you know what, I don't want no smoke. So I'm going to, you know, just be over here and they be over there. I don't want to be exterminated. They don't want to be exterminated. So we're just going to get along for getting along sake. He said the exit of the UN United States from the Missile Defense Treaty was an attempt to ruin this um, parity, but or parity, however it's pronounced, but our efforts in the development of new weapons will preserve this parity. All right. The Finley, so they, they said, look, they, they got to keep basically an arms race at hand in order for America to stay off their, their back, basically, and World War Three to be quelled. The Finley veiled threat aimed at the West follows a huge show of military force at this year's Victory Day Parade in the Red Square, during which the latest uh, Russian military hardware was unveiled to, to great fanfare. On the subject of West, Western imposed sanctions, which followed the annexation of Crimea in 2014, Putin responded bullish, saying, uh, mind you, they, they got Crimea through democratic means, right? The, the Crimea, Crimeanians voted to be of Russia. And that's when a lot of tension come off the back of that. So, yeah, it is clear to us that we have to defend our interests and to do so consistently, not boorishly or rudely, in both the sphere of the economy and of defence. Asked whether non-stop sanctions could lead to World War Three, Putin quoted Albert Einstein, I know not with what weapons World War Three will be fought, but World War IV will, IV will be fought with sticks and stones. I know nothing about that. What I do know is, I know the answer that Albert Einstein didn't know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashami al Shai. Okay, and the answer is Isaiah 9 and 5. And it reads, for every battle of the warriors with confused no noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. And that's because what weapons do they have? They have nuclear arms at hand. Okay, and that's that's by design because the Lord gave them that power, all right, in order for the end to be carried out. Um, how am I forgetting these, these basic scriptures? Um, it's lucky, bear with me. Uh, this is Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bluffed the coals in the fire. And as you, um, if you're aware, a smith is a, a worker in a form of metal. You had iron smith, you had iron smith, um, or should I say copper smiths that worked in making copper. You had silver smiths which works in making silver. Gold smiths which works in work in gold and a blacksmith which worked in arms you know swords and whatnot so this smith is talking about the scientists that developed the icbms all right and that bringing forth an instrument for his work and that's for the lord the lord's work because the lord put it in their minds to do so because it's for the fulfillment of prophecy according to the scriptures in the next chapter isaiah 55 11 it tells you that the, the words of the lord don't go out of word so anything he says is going to accomplish so that's why this was done, in order for the Lord to accomplish this work of World War Three, which is spoke of in the book of Revelations three, um, 8 and, 9 and 13, about three walls being upon the earth. So there ain't going to be no World War Four. There's a World War Three. After that, it's a wrap. Israel's ruling with rods of iron upon thrones under the, the, the rulership of Yahweh, or Hashem, um, Yahweh Shai. All right? And I've created the ways to the destroy. So that's talking about them ICBM. So they're going to destroy... Um, 
America, along with two thirds of the nation of Israel and all the wicked of the earth that are a slave for judgment. All right, so it reads on. Um, he added that any country's interest should not be protected through confrontation. Okay, what what it what is Russia's nuclear capability? Despite the warnings of a third great global conflict, Business Insider says perhaps more than any other country. Russia has a nuclear capability to end the world. So they said, look, more than any country, Russia has a nuclear capability to end the world. And they're going to end this, this age, okay, the age of Esau's rulership by taking out America with a land with all of um, the Edomite nations, all right, being a Latin, and many other nations of the world are going to let their ICBMs loose on America. They're just going to say, fuck it, press that red button, all right? So they got... More capable, they're more capable than America, with about seven thousand nuclear weapons making up the world's most diverse and destructive nuclear arsenal. So it says, look, we've got seventy-five. That's a spiritual number as well, seven thousand, man. It makes me think of um, when um, Elijah asked the Lord about he's, he's the only one left, and the Lord said, there's, there's seven thousand that have not bowed their neck, they bowed their knee to Baal. So the Lord's got, you know, they've got about seven thousand nuclear weapons that's ready to be and they're diverse and destructive uh, different ways they're going to make their way over to America Putin call, could un, um, unilaterally decide to embark on a civilization ending war uh, and that's what's going to happen says the news site during his annual State of the Union address earlier this year Putin boasted of his country's nuclear capability and seemed to confirm the existence of the of a Russian doomsday device that could render large trenches, tranches of the world uninhabitable for decades. And that's what's going to happen to America. America, it tells you that it's going to be the habitation of, of, of um, doleful creatures, man. And I'll, I'll probably end on this, actually. Um, yeah. So this is Isaiah 13 and 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes again, shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not lighten it. And that's talking about the Russians, all right? They're gonna, they're gonna, they ain't gonna regard no gold or silver. They're gonna want to take America out. Their bows also shall sh shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of ki kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans' ec ec excellency, shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. What happened when? The Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. He made um, he made um, fire and brimstone rain from the heavens, man. And spiritually, what is um, America known as? This new Babylon, Babylon the, the daughter of Babylon, Babylon the Great. It's known as spiritually as Sodom and Egypt, because sodomy is performed there. Okay, as was in Sodom and Gomorrah. So it was made. It tells you also. That Sodom and Gomorrah was made an example to make people know they should not live ungodly. So that being an example, they're slated for the same judgment that happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it dwell, be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the, Abraham, the Arabian pitch tent there. Because you've got all them Arabs over there in the land of America. They're making good um, gains of wealth. Even you had the sheikhs, um, you have OPEC and all these different organizers, um, I believe, oh, well, let's not even go there. Arabs, the Americans approached them with the idea of the petrol dollar. And basically that's what made them Arab sheikhs enter into that blessing where the Lord spoke of in the book of Genesis about they shall be blessed. Because they're blessed right now. That's why you got the Saudi Arabia named after the Saudi royal family. And they, they're, they're swimming in wealth due to the Americans or Esau really blessing them. So it says they ain't gonna pinch their tent pitch their tent no more and all those Arabs that go over there and make merchandise as well. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Okay, and all these different diverse people that made a lot of their great riches over in the land of America, which is Babylon the Great. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, okay? So this is going to happen because America is going to turn into a lake of fire. Then, that, that, then when it simmers down, all right, and gets reestablished, it's going to be the smoke's going to be. It's going to be seen of it 
for a very long time then it's going to turn into a desert land where you know we're going to take over our children and, and make them behold it and say this and we're going to tell them the stories of that place what happened over there all right and it reads um um but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there wild beasts of the desert and it's going to say what types of beasts they are and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures and owls shall dwell there and set out shall dance there and the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses and dragons in their, ple their pleasant places and her time is near come and her days shall not be prolonged so that's the end of america okay where you're gonna have um desert form creatures all over there and it's not gonna be the great nation it is today is gonna be brought to naught all right so we're gonna pray you edified shalom